in your the joint parliamentary select committee on election laws opened its doors to members of the public to submit their views on the proposed amendments submissions before the committee co-chaired by william cheptumo and fatma dulo largely focusing on the timing and jubilee's intention to change the laws before the presidential rematch the timing is uh, it's not good parliament should wait we finish these elections it's apparent that if we go to another petition with these grey areas and being judged on these technicalities, that we are likely to be at the same place again. So I think the timing is right. At the heart of the proposed amendments is Jubilee's push for concurrent transmission of results manually and electronically from the polling stations to constituency and national tallying centers. The bill also seeks to streamline management of IBC with the vice chair taking over in the absence of the chairperson. Mimi sio ni ubaya tukiwa na kampuni kama hizi zetu za Kenya za Securica zifungiwe hiyo form <laughs> na yaambiwe haya peleka bombas na hiyo seal di vizuri kwa nini tutafuti kwa sababu hii mitambo tunaongea saa hii hata nyinyi committee wa bunge ni nani hapa hajawahi tuma pesa ikaenda wrong number ikiwa kale mbili some of the amendments like reducing um quorum um, allocating powers to anybody on the committee without legal background, without commensurate experience and whatnot. At best, in such an environment, um, at such a time, it will look mischievous. If Jesus comes and he says he's going to conduct election for Kenyans, some people will refuse. <laughs> some people will refuse just for, for reasons best known to them. Nasa lawmakers kept off the committee's first public sitting, questioning its legality. So what is happening at County Hall can only be a meeting of a committee of Jubilee. We want to appeal to the Kenyan public to ignore in totality the Jubilee Committee masquerading as a House Committee. The absence of those members from the Nasa does not make this committee unconstitutional or illegal in terms of formation. Jubilee keen on flexing its numerical muscle in the two chambers of parliament to push through the bill and fix what they claim were loopholes that led to the invalidation of President Kenyatta's re-election by the Supreme Court last month. And the Supreme Court clearly <laughs> pointed out certain gaps. What Jubilee is doing is actually to address those gaps so that the next election can actually be free, fair, and credible, and the gaps can be filled. We shall not entertain any extra constitutional means of bringing about any reforms. We were waiting for them in parliament. They'll know that the, the tyranny of numbers does not supersede the tyranny of brain. So the tyranny of brain is coming on Tuesday. <laughs> As Jubilee and NASA square it out on the intention and timing of the proposed changes to the electoral laws, the Joint Parliamentary Select Committee hopes to receive submissions from the religious leaders, IBC, the business community and the civil society in time for the Friday deadline before tabling a report on Tuesday when the two chambers of parliament resume from a short recess. Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV, Parliament Buildings, Nairobi.